Welcome back to another Dr. Damon Designs video where hopefully I can teach you a thing or two about graphic design and video editing and if not help you find that one little feature to make your editing life just a little bit easier. Don't forget if you enjoy these videos and want to help out the channel to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future notifications for when my videos go live. In today's video, I'm going to show you what exactly a DaVinci Resolve plugin does for you as a content creator and how to use it to make your editing process just a little bit easier. Now, what I mean by plugin is it's got a bunch of pre-built transitions, titles, and a bunch of other assets that you can use in your YouTube or TikTok videos. For example, Face Clan, they have these really cool elaborate highlight videos with advanced transitions, titles and effects instead of going out on youtube and trying to figure out how exactly they made that one transition which could take you up to half a day to even a day to master and get it right this plugin has it already pre-built for you and all you got to do is drag and drop onto your footage and change a couple of little settings to get it just the way you want to. So now let's take a look at what exactly the Super Creator Pack plugin provides for you. Now, if you go into the Super Creators Pack folder, you'll see all of the assets that you get for DaVinci Resolve. We have color LUTs, footages, sound effects, super elements, which includes titles, and super TR, which are the transitions. The first thing we're gonna take a look at are the footages they provide and the sound effects. To make things easier, I have already imported every single footage, icon, and sound effect into DaVinci Resolve, we're going to take a look at just a few of them. So some of the stuff they've provided are a bunch of glitch overlays. So these things you can use for intros and transitions and logo reveals. One channel that you may know that uses a glitch transition is the Alpha Gaming channel. Now this may not be the cool glitch transition that he has, but you can get pretty darn close using the stuff that they provided in this pack. Another thing that they provide are a bunch of light leaks and lens flares. These are things personally that I don't use very often because I don't do filming outside or anything cinematic such as that. But basically you use light leaks over top of other footage just to make it have that cool lens flare and light feeling. They also provide a bunch of social media and popular website logos, which you can use as banners in your Twitch overlays or even sponsorship banners. Like, you know, whenever you do a sponsor video, like this one. They also include a couple of emojis. For those of you that don't have a webcam, you can use these to convey emotion in your videos if you so desire to do that. They have also included a plethora of sound effects and not just your everyday MP3s that you find and burn off of YouTube. These are studio quality sound effects that you can use for transitions, intros, logo reveals, whatever you think you can use a sound effect for, they have it in this pack. And just to show you what they sound like, here's a sound effect. Now let's move on to the stuff that you installed from the pack into DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you installed were all of the transitions. Now to view all the transitions that you installed, go up to the effects library and go down to video transitions. Now to see all the custom ones that you installed, scroll all the way down to you see the fusion category and then scroll down to you see the super TR or the super transitions. And there are a ton of them to choose from. Now, some of you may ask, how do I use these transitions? Honestly, you just gotta test them out and see which ones you like. All you gotta do is drag and drop some footage on your timeline and drag and drop the transition on top of it. Then all you gotta do is to click on the transition and change the duration for however long you want the transition to last in your videos. And the second thing you installed were all of the titles and text packs. To access these, go down to your titles and scroll down to the fusion title section. And when you start seeing the SUP elements, these are all of the text titles and assets you can use for the videos. They include a bunch of backgrounds that you can use, infographics for those of you that love to make those educational statistical videos. They provide a ton of lower thirds for you all if you want to display more information inside a video. They also included some social media pop-ups for you to create some cool Twitch overlays or even just display them in your videos. They included some minimal titles, a bunch of typography animations, and even a bunch of YouTube assets to use in your YouTube videos. And last but not least is the color look section. And to access that, you go down to the bottom from your edit tab to your color tab and to access all of the color LUTs that you installed all you got to do is click the LUTs section and if you scroll through all of your color LUTs you'll see all the ones that you installed if you need to confirm that you installed all the color LUTs from the pack all you got to do is open up the super creator pack folder go to the super creator pack go to color LUTs and you'll see all of the folders that have been installed and then you can just double check the folder with DaVinci Resolve and if they match then they have properly installed and basically the only thing that color LUTs do is change the coloration of your video or footage and as you can see when you hover over different color LUTs they change the color of your footage you could be doing a wedding photo compilation you could be doing 
a highlight video reel, whatever you may be filming and editing, you have the ability to change the coloration to make those colors pop the way you want to. I'm going to tell you the things that personally I would use as a creator and the stuff that I would never touch as a creator. Some of the stuff I find most useful are the titles and transitions. I'll be using those a lot in TikTok videos and gaming YouTube videos and even informational YouTube videos. The different transitions can help your audience stay engaged with the video and with all of the titles, you can show different information in your videos. I also find that the sound effects library will come in handy when making intros, outros, and transitions in certain YouTube and TikTok videos as well. And I'll also be using the logos and images. Those will come in handy for social media banners inside your Twitch overlays and even videos so that you have the ability to plug all of your other content sources. One thing I'm going to learn how to use in the future are the glitch clips that they have provided. I would like to learn how to use them for intros and outros, transitions, and logo reveals. Now I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that I'm probably never going to use. I will most likely not touch the emoji section just because I have a webcam so you can easily tell my facial expression and what I'm feeling in my gaming clips. Another thing I probably won't touch are the color LUTs. I personally don't know a lot about color LUTs and I don't typically change the coloration of my videos, but I know some of you are expert videographers and want that perfect color. So that may be for you. And last but not least, the light flare clips. I really have no personal use for those because I don't make cinematic films or videos for TikTok, YouTube, or any other social media platform. Even though I may not find these useful, you can still ask questions about it and I'll do my best to do some research to give you the best information possible. And now the question that you've all been waiting for, is this actually worth getting? And the answer to that question is yes. As a content creator, I'm always looking for ways to level up my content, and this definitely does that. It provides 3,300 different assets to use to help make your editing life just a little bit easier. I do love learning new things, but sometimes after a hard day at work, I do just want to get a video edited and completed so I can post it on TikTok or YouTube. And this is actually not the first plugin that I have used. I use a couple of other plugins that I have purchased in the past for After Effects and even DaVinci Resolve, and I use them all the time. Just one little tidbit, I did use the whole creator pack and every single element you see in this video was from the Super Creator Pack. But what would it look like if I just used the Creator Pack to create a Twitch highlight reel? That's all I got for you guys today it was a first look into this amazing content creator pack. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll try to address them in a video or I'll respond to the comment. Or if you want to ask me any questions live, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Hope you all enjoyed this video. See you next time.